Um, uh, I thought we threw the ball decent at times. I probably would have liked to see the thing down the field vertical a couple more times. We threw it a few times, but I would like a few more. I mean, our goal is to work that whole field sideline to sideline and end zone to end zone. And I'm going to go back and evaluate how well we did that, you know, uh, how effectively that was in series. So. You'll have to break down the tape, but general thoughts on your quarterbacks today? You know, um, they, 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 they both look like they had their moments that they, they look good, you know, and uh, so I want to, I kind of want to watch it. Um, sometimes when I'm, because I'm out there, I'm trying to stay ahead of how, how many plays did the ones have, how many did the twos have, how many did this, and those guys, those quarterbacks are constantly rotating with who they're working with, and I kind of almost lose track of who's in in each series, you know, so it's really hard for me to assess that right now. That's what the tape is for. Um, you know, we tried to get them all reps, you know, and I think we did. Um, you know, maybe didn't get enough reps for this for the top two. I got to go back and take a look at that. But but today was the day we wanted to make sure they all because that's everybody getting reps is going to sort of walk away here pretty soon. You know, we're not going to be able to do that much longer. The other struggle we had today was we had a couple in you know some minor deals on the offensive line in terms of guys banged up. So and and and. and and we were trying to, you know, AJ and, and Travis were a little dinged up, so we weren't going to run them much today. So that kind of hamstrings you a little bit with how you're going to flow everything. And it got a, it, that, that got a little herky-jerky there, you know. Trying to get those young guys at the end, but you don't want to have your older backs in there with them. <laughs> you know, but we were in that a little bit, and that's why it was getting a little funky. Speaking of the offensive line, uh, Chris Lindstrom moves around a lot for you guys. Yep. Uh, what have you seen from him, and where do you kind of see him ending up uh, once the series starts? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I, I would say both because we're gonna we're, the way we're gonna play. We're gonna be moving fast, and we're gonna have to play with you know at least seven offensive linemen, and he really gives us a, you know our our ability to swing because he can play both. You know, so I would say that that probably won't go away. Uh, but we're getting a very nice uh, chemistry up front now. I'm, I'm really pleased um, with with the way they're playing right now. I, I wish we had uh, you know Elijah back right now, you know, for a little bit more depth. But uh, but I, I really think we've taken a step forward there. Yeah. Coach, go back a couple of weeks to when camp started. Um, yeah. What are some of the areas that you've seen have already you know improved two weeks in uh, yeah. a couple of scrimmages? Offensive line for sure. Um, um, you know, I think uh, the secondary is, is really improving, in my opinion, watching them. Uh, we've jockeyed the linebackers quite a bit. So we've, you know, Connor's, you know, been inside and outside. And he's learning that outside spot. Um, I think the receivers have really come a long way right now. You know, and we're, you know, I don't know if it was really reflective today or not, but we have thrown the ball extremely well in practice right now. And uh, our passing game has really come a long way. And kind of to the flip side of that, where are some of the areas that you think, you know, you're still going to soften up the edges on? Yeah. I would say uh, we got a long, we still have a long way to develop our depth on the interior of the defensive line. Uh, our depth on the offensive lines, we've got a lot of work to be done right there. Um, those are, and we got to continue to develop our, our, our field goal kicking. I'd say those are the areas that probably, you know, got a lot of attention for me right now. Um, Tommy Sweeney had that nice catch uh, early on. He had a touchdown. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that he does for you? Um, versatility. He's all on the stuff. field all the time. You know, we actually took him off the field today because we were he was getting too many reps. But he, you know, he's an every down player. I mean, so, I mean, we got you know him and and uh, Garrison and Corrad. Those guys are like every down players. I mean, they're they're they're, they're tough to handle. And uh, you know, my, my fear with right now is is m maybe too many reps right now for him in practice. You know, so I'm going to start looking to maybe not have him take so many. Um, and I thought today we did a pretty good job of rolling all those tight ends with the ones. They all played. Yeah, we all we all rolled them with the ones. You know, because um, they've had a long camp. You know, they've got to block like linemen and run like receivers. That's a it's, it's easier said than done. You worry about hamstrings and legs and things like that at this point in camp. Big guys running routes like that can pull up, you know, so you got to take care of those guys. You've got today's data to, to look at and looking at the next couple weeks. Like, yeah. What will you factor in as you make your decision for, for quarterback for your first game? You know, I think it's just, you know, we still have, you know, a fairly sizable grind through the next week here. I mean, we have an extra week of camp this year now. It's, it's, it's different for us, right? We started a week earlier. Everybody did in college football. 
and so um, you know this this next week is is is, is we're still in the heart of the grind of camp. So I'd like to close this thing off uh, next next weekend. It's not. It's really not even over then, because we still have another week before we get the game week. But I'd say the next seven days are. You know, I, I, I still want to see where we go from today. Like there were some mistakes made today. I want to see who, who does the best job of correcting those mistakes and continue to elevate their play. <clears throat> That's what it's all about. And then I'll then I'll. Then I'll, you know, take it, take it in, and say, okay, now, now, now what? With, then you'll have two weeks left after that. But I, I don't feel that sense of urgency with that. You know, just because I think that they're both playing at a pretty high level right now. I mean, my, I look at it like that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Keep that going. You know, the, the more you do that, the more development there is because there's push, there's competition. And I'm not ready to say let's settle in right now. Why? I mean, it, it's not necessary. Um, and it, it, it's not affecting in any way, shape, or form our team because, I mean, we kind of got a group of guys that are just kind of rolling, man. They just go. You know, there's not a lot of uh, evaluation of that, you know. I, I, mean, I think there's a, a good amount of confidence in these guys, and I don't want to get beyond that. So, I mean, I'm, I don't, don't interpret that as, oh, you're going to play two guys. You're gonna, no, I didn't say that. I just said there's no rush to – let's just roll right through the heart of camp right here. Let's keep rolling, then, 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 I'll, then, then I'll assess it again. I'll take you know? one last question. Uh, I just had a quick question. Yeah. You've brought up Isaac a lot in the preseason. Yeah. I think gotten a lot of pub. Yeah. What has he done? Uh, he's always had the athleticism. Right. Where is uh, where oh, does he kind of come from and where is he at? Yeah, right yeah, now? yeah. Just it really is, is is the mastery of the game, you know, situational, the, the mental part of the game. He's developing physically and fundamentally, but there's also a mental component to the game, you know, where sometimes when you're a young guy, the enormity of it can, can you know, weigh you down. Or if you get beat on a route, you know, you're kind of like worried about how you got beat and you can't go to the next play. I mean, when you're a veteran guy, you've been through that before, he knows what that's like. He's not, he's going to the next play. It's, it's, the, it's the experience factor. It's, it's obvious in the back end between he and Cam and Will. Those guys have got a lot of experience. They can, they can, they can come through that storm. Young DBs sometimes don't come through the storm. You beat them over the top deep and they're in the tank and you're trying to rally them back and it's a mind game, you know? I think those guys are, you know, are, are, are more mature, so that mind game doesn't put them on a roller coaster ride, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks, it, man.